Most of you would be familiar with that old joke, why do they give council workers shovels? So they've got something to lean on. Well, a couple of former street sweepers turned whistleblowers have told how they were paid thousands of dollars a month by Melbourne's Port Phillip Council to do nothing. Council workers, but work appears to be the last thing on their minds. Nine News observed these street cleaners for hours and they spent the vast majority of time parked on the side of the road. And that's not only the norm, it's encouraged, according to former employees turned whistleblowers Glenn Smith and Daniel Mayers. People being paid for a nine-hour day when you're only working three hours, I think it's absolute disgrace. The rates here are ridiculous and... This is what they're spending it on. I've got two thoughts on this, Caleb. Firstly, are we really surprised? And secondly, do we really care if they don't fill potholes, empty bins and, you know, uh, clean the streets? What's their position on Gaza? Well, uh, my thought is I used to live in South Melbourne, which falls into Port Phillip Council, and I'm about to go back there and get another job because it <laughs> sounds pretty damn good. Don't have to do any prep for the show, don't have to work with you two bozos, you know. I can just drive around in a truck, sit on the side of the road. How good is that? Now, I've always said, because my father is a, is a council worker. Hello, Dad if you're watching, um, and I've always joked that he's a professional bludger because, you know, he, he gets to go to... He gets an RDO once a fortnight. He finishes Aww. work at three in the afternoon, you know. What a charmed life it is. He gets to drive around on the ride-on mower around the Adelaide parklands having a great time, which is like some men's wet dream. Like, they would, they would love to drive around on the ride-on mower all day, every day, because they're so obsessed with the lawn. But... The amount of money we pay for these people, right? And, of course, it starts at the top with the CEO who gets paid a shed load of money and then you multiply that by 20 or 30 or however many councils there are in every single capital city and then all the people underneath them who get paid exorbitant amounts of money to do nothing. Let's just abolish these people. Like, but we what's don't unbelievable need them. is they literally share that this is not only encouraged, it's facilitated by the supervisors. Yeah. Mm. They literally say, make sure that you are relocating your vehicle, like, <laughs> once every hour. And when Channel 9 did this investigative work, Channel 9 doing investigative work, I mean, that in and of itself should be a headline. Thanks for focusing on the big issues. But they, they were following these guys around and seeing that's exactly what they do. They just drive around the corner, Repark, spend it's another so hour. But how is this on the mm. ratepayers' dime? Like, we often talk about ratepayers forking out for their council's uh, favourite social issues, yeah. and that in and of itself is highly objectionable. No one's paying their rates for that. But here we find it's even the rate, the lead. These are street cleaners. They're not even doing that. But how's this label of whistleblowers? I'm just like, <laughs> after six years, yeah, yeah. Glenn, after six <laughs> years, you blow on the whistle. They didn't resign. After living high on protest. the hog. Yeah, for all we know, they're disgruntled, like, fired ex-MPs. We don't, we don't know how... Maybe, but look, it's only, it's only a rort if you're not in on it. The other thing we should note is that that same council had massive complaints back in June because of a rat infestation uh, due to garbage not being collected. So uh... Well, well, the, the rats, I think, have taken over the ship, it, it would seem. Um, I just want the job. I'm, I'm putting it out there. Port Phillip Council, if someone <laughs> wants to hook me up, I'm more than willing to come and do it.